Hey guys, what's up? It's a film fanatic, and I've got another movie review today, and today I'm going to be reviewing Paul Blart Mall Cop 2. Now, before I start my review, I'm just going to say, I when the, Paul, the first Paul Paul Blart movie came out, I, I liked this movie, actually. It was really funny, it was entertaining, and I liked Kevin James in that. But this movie, it just doesn't live up to it. Yeah, this movie was not a good movie at all. I... Hardly enjoyed it at all, so I'm going to go through the pros and cons of this movie, and I will give you my rating. So first of all, this was a very cheesy movie in my opinion. It just felt too cliche of a movie, and it felt like it's the uh, like some of these story plots and character developments have already been used um, in similar movies. But there were very many cheesy humor scenes, but I found... A couple of them in the beginning to be pretty funny, actually, and I like that. Um, so, and then this is this is supposed to be an emotional movie. Um, at the end, Paul Blart earns his reward and everyone's cheering. It's like, yeah, woo, go, you know? But I was sitting there, and I'm like... You know, I mean, it's just like he won a award good job, you know? I really, I really didn't care. Um, I really didn't want to see that, I guess. And this movie can get boring very easily. There's, there's like, no action in the movie. There, there's, like, no action until, like, the last 20 minutes of this movie. In the beginning, it's all just discussion and planning for the actual action of the movie. And I just thought, uh, I don't know. And then there was also this one scene um, where Paul Blart gets in this bulletproof suitcase. And he's at the top of the stairs waiting to attack some guy. And he fits in the suitcase. It's not like he's like big, ginormous, gigantic suits. It, it's like a carry-on suitcase. And he fits in it. So yeah, but with that, uh, it lost its humor in the last, like, three-fourths of the movie. It just... Like, I, I liked the like some of the scenes in the first movie, in the first part of the movie, um, but I just, I just thought it wasn't funny, uh, at the end of the movie. So yeah, this isn't a very interesting movie at all, it just never was, never caught my attention saying that I needed to pay attention to this movie, it's just never a movie that I thought I need to see again. And another thing was that in the end scene, it said that it was produced by Adam Sandler. Yeah. Adam Sandler movies are bad, but him producing one? No. Yeah. I mean, I didn't even take that many notes on this movie because nothing was really happening in this movie. It was all just discussion, discussion, discussion. Movie scene. Villain. Villain scene. It's just, it was just that. Like, there was nothing happening in the movie. There's, like, hardly any action in this movie. It did not live up to the hype of the first Paul Blart movie, which I loved. It was pretty good. One well, of my guilty pleasures, but, you know... It's a, it's a pretty funny movie. <gasps> so, guys, yeah, Paul Bart Mall Cop 2, I'm going to have to give a D plus. I thought some scenes were funny, but it just it never joined together to be a movie. Thank you, guys, for watching my review for uh, Paul Bart Mall Cop 2. I'm going to be doing, uh, I'm going to be start doing a uh, scheduled, um, uh, what do you call it? A scheduled film fanatic video poster thing yeah like you know monday tuesday wednesday thursday thursday friday i'll post something and then you know so what so if you want me to um post up on this youtube channel that you want me to see leave it down below in the comments i will make an announcement about that um so yeah please put suggestions for videos i should put up down below and uh yeah so I think that's it for this video. And please answer questions for my upcoming Q&A. Um, my video, my Star Wars reaction, trailer reaction, is close to getting 1,000 views. And I'm very excited about that. Um, so yeah, just please answer some questions for that special Q&A. And stay tuned for more from Film Fanatic.